Johannes, what is our awesome proportion? Radians over 2 pi and 2 degrees over 360. So I'm using the same formulas yesterday. <coughs> but here, you're telling me what information do we have for us? <coughs> we have, this is radians. How do I know that's radians? It has pi in it, right? And there's no degree symbol. So now we're going to put that there. Pi over 4 divided by 2 pi equals degrees over 360. Okay. So here you can do a couple of things. I'm trying to solve for degrees. So I can just multiply by 360 and then 360 <coughs> times pi over 4 and then divide my answer by 2 pi. Right? Or you learn something about proportions. To solve proportions, you can cross multiply. So I'm going to have pi over 4 times 360 degrees equal 2 pi times degrees. I have a fraction times, not a fraction, how do I make this a fraction? What are the factors of 360? Here's a clue. <coughs> what is it? I'm probably going to use 4 and 90. Do you guys see that? And I have 2 pi times degrees. It's a math ghost. I'm going to cancel my 4's. What are you left with? 90 pi equals 2 pi times degrees. And then we're going to do it. Divide by both 2 and pi, right? Treat it like a, a variable x. What happens? 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1, also over here. And 90 divided by 2 is? Now, remember, this is not radians anymore. Not just because you cancel the pi's, but it's telling you degrees. Our degrees are equal to 45 degrees. Pi over 4 is equal to 45 degrees. Now, it does tell us to round to decimal places, but we don't have any decimal places because we have a nice exact answer.